Well, it looked like he had knocked the ball on the there. The referee still playing the advantage yeah, to Leinster. And Leinster crowding this blind side channel. Isaac Boss in behind Murphy, and Boss puts a bizarre kick in the air, which is then knocked on by Gordon Darcy. Not quite sure what was going on there, but they were playing that advantage. Madigan takes it, goes quickly, can he twist and turn over the line? Absolute individual brilliance and awareness from Ian Madigan. Leinster need their defence to be strong here. Ulster have the advantage coming their way. Pinar to Roger Wilson, crabbing closer to that Leinster line. Ulster in desperate need of a try here. Will it come from Fian Herbst, who's right on top of the whitewash there, is the huge yes. Ulster tight head. Just a second. OK, so from what I've seen, there is no clear and obvious reason why I shouldn't order to try. I agree. On this mark now. Conan just seems to get better and better as the match continues, adding more layers and elements to his game. Plowing into the belly of Roger Wilson, here is Luke McGrath. Jack Conan, who has taken on the mantle of responsibility since Jimmy he's left, left injured. What a performance by Conan. There is your Guinness Pro 12 man of the match, Jack Conan. And Leinster it was who fired in that second half. So let's just tell you about the rugby that's coming up this weekend. 7 o'clock for the Rugby Club, as per usual. Sky Sports 1 for that. It is followed by the top 14 offering. Stade Francais, who need to get back to winning ways, take on Castro from 7.30 on the same channel. On Saturday, the Guinness Pro 12 offering is the Cardiff Blues against defending champions Leinster. 2.30 for that at the Cardiff Arms Park, once again on Sky Sports 1. And then in the evening from 7.30 on 3, it's Claremont against Breathe.